everyone, this is Karan Bhavandi with Optimal Access. Today I'm going to show you the most useful browser extension, the only 3D tabbed browser for grouping your tabs, curating access to your favorite websites, and organizing them the way that you work. The extension is called K Browser. It works with Waterfox browsers and offers tens of other very useful features that will save you time every given day. Let's watch this video and see how it all works. So to get started, first we need to install um, both Waterfox and, if you don't have it, and um, our extension. So the easiest way is to come to our website, Optimal Access, and then under the products, go to K Browser and then scroll down a little bit and then you will see uh, two entries one to get waterfox and then get k browser just simply you know click on it to download it's going to take you to the waterfox website waterfox works with uh, windows mac and linux get it and then come back to the website again and get uh, k browser so k browser was initially developed for Firefox. Waterfox is a uh, Firefox-like browser and uh, so it still resides on the Firefox add-ons library. It's not compatible with the Quantum anymore and that's why uh, you know we are promoting it on the Waterfox engine and also because Waterfox is a great browser. So to install it, Waterfox actually is coming up with their own marketplace and then we're going to be on there very soon, as soon as they release it. So to add it, you simply say add to Firefox. It's going to uh, pop up a menu. You click add and uh, then you have to restart your browser. And uh, let's see how then we proceed from here after you install. Once you restart your browser, you're going to have your new K browser installed. And you will notice that this is a totally new interface with three sets of tabs. On the right hand side are our group tabs, on the top are page tabs, and at the bottom are temporary page tabs. So let's see how they work. Group tabs, as the name implies, they group pages together. So Within each group, you have a set of um, websites pinned by the tab. If I change my group, I go to my new site. I have a whole bunch of new sites pinned over here. As you can see, now every time that you launch your browser, your tabs, your groups, and your pages are always going to be where you left them, and they will only open when you click on them, just like this. And within each page tab, we have the concept of temporary pages. So I can, for example, hold the control key and click on this link. It's going to open up a page down below as a temporary page tab. I can also, if I want to just create a new window within this, click on the plus sign and create a new page tab. This concept is similar to how regular browsers work for creating new pages. These temp pages are all within the page. So if I now change and go over to my New York Times, you will see that there are no pages in here. Additionally, I can close my page tabs without actually deleting the page tab. But when I close this page tab, all of the temp pages are going to be closed. So you can see over here, I can close my pages without deleting these pages. Now if I go over back to the BBC page, the 10 pages are gone. So this is a way for you to stay organized. The new pages that are temporary will be closed every time you close the browser, but the pages that you have curated because you want to access your web and your destinations in a certain way will always be where you left them. So this organization is going to make you a lot more productive while you're working with your 
browser and accessing different websites to do your work or your play or whatever that it is that you do. So next, uh, let's go a little bit deeper and then we'll try to see how we can actually customize and build our own groups and our, or and our own pages um, in K Browser. Next, let's um, customize the browser to the way that you work. The best way to do this is to start with your own favorites bookmark so that you have already stored in your browser to access them. You're going to go to the sidebar and then open up the toggle sidebar. You will see on top there's a drop down menu with a bunch of entries. The first one is called bookmarks and this is actually your favorites bars. So I have a folder in here called analytics. I want to build a new group and add some of these links in there to show you how you can customize and build your own groups and pin your own tabs. I'm going to go over to the sidebar, click on the plus sign in the group pane, type in a name called analytics for my new group. And when I activate it, you can see that I have an open pane with one default page in there. So to add my favorites to my page tabs, all I have to do is to just simply drag and drop them. And you can see it opens up the dialog. It's going to put in the URL and the name. And I save it. And here it is. I have my Google Analytics. I can simply drag and drop any other link from here and do the same. But there are other methods. For example, I can type in something in the address bar. Let me add similar web. When I type something in the address bar, I have my browser set up so it opens it up in a new tab. Now if I want to add this to my pin tabs under analytics, I can drag and drop the link here from the address bar and it's going to scrape the name of the page and put the URL and I just save it. So this is really how easy it is. Uh, another method is I can click on the plus sign over here and I can now add another website by just typing the URL and the name if I know it. And there we have it. Another thing that I can do is I can basically drag and drop from inside the web. So let me close the bookmark bar here, go over to News, New York Times. Let's say I want to add the tech page to my analytics. I can simply drag and drop it from the web, dra uh, drag it over the analytics group, let it go, and it's going to add that page and pin it over to my analytics group. So this is really how easy it is. I'm going to delete. So if I wanted to remove any of these page tabs, I right click on them and I say delete page tab. So that's how easy it is. Another thing to know that's important is that any link that I add as a page tab, it's going to be stored inside of my optimal bookmark. So I'm going to switch over to optimal bookmark and you see here on the unsorted bookmarks all the tabs that I have just added in here. There's also a copy of it in here. What this means is that I can now delete my page tabs without actually deleting the link. The link will stay in the optimal bookmarks and I can simply always add it back on again. Or for that matter, I can create the same tab in two different groups. I can simply drag and drop a link to my group area and uh, call it new analytics, for example, and save it. And there it is. There's ahref. So if I change ahref from down here, so let's, uh, it's going to change it in both of my areas, but and if I delete ahref, 
from my optimal bookmark, it's going to delete it and let me know that it's going to delete the tabs from the page for me. So anytime you create a new page tab, you're going to have a copy of it here in your optimal bookmark. You can easily delete your tabs without deleting the actual favorite, but if you delete them inside of optimal bookmark, they're gonna be gone. This is how easy it is to customize and build your own personal dashboard for how you navigate the web. Now let's take a look at the number of features that make KBrowser really unique. The first one I want to share with you is the sharing of your bookmarks. We have actually taken this to a whole new level and you're not sharing bookmarks anymore, you're sharing knowledge portals, you're sharing navigation plus bookmarks. Basically every single tab here is a destination and the way that it's organized is based on a philosophy and with KBrowser, you get to share all of that at once with other users. And we have had actually companies that have used this system in order to manage their users' desktops and improve productivity. So to test and see how it works, um, we go to our website and under the products menu, there is a menu called portal gallery. So if you click on that and then you scroll down, there is a number of different portals and we're going to take the news portal say download portal and it is going to ask us to save this file and i say save file and it will save it and then we have to import it so to import it i'm going to go over to my file menu go to import portal tree and then browse to the location where I saved the file, News Portal, Open, Next. Now it's going to show me a list of the different portals available. Here we only have one, and it's going to show me a list of all the different groups within this portal. You can then pick and choose what you want to import and save it. So once you save it, it's now part of your desktop. So to access it, we're gonna scroll over to the sidebar. Um, one of the menus has the portal three menu and I'm, you see that there's a new entry now called news. I'm gonna switch over to it. And as I mentioned, I am now sharing or opening up an entire portal of news sites based on some methodology uh, of dividing them. So here are elite media groups like New York Times, Washington Post, The Guardian, and so on. And then there is another one called Euronews with different types of European news sources. Or further down, I have a tech news group with different tech news sources. So you can see how powerful this feature is of you know sharing your bookmarks plus navigation with other users. The next command I want to share with you here on the sidebar, so we've basically packed all of the important commands that help you navigate and manage uh, KBrowser in the sidebar on the left. The next one is a history command for remembering your last location. So I can basically use this command to navigate through the last tabs that I basically have accessed right now. And you can imagine when you have a lot of different groups, sometimes you may not remember exactly where the last location was and these commands become very handy. The next one allows me to see the list of open tabs that I have and then I can basically choose to uh, close one or more of them like here and uh, the next command is a search command so here I can search uh, the tabs I can search a number of different we have RSS feeds in here and as well as what we call curation folders which is uh, research that I will get into later in this uh, demo. 
So if I wanted to, for example, search for Associated Press, uh, there it is. It's showing me that I have three hits. You know, one of them is a type page, which is a tab here. The other one is the link that's associated with it. It's going to let me know where it is. And if I double click on it, it's basically going to take me to that location. So it's a powerful tool. Next, I have the ability to hide uh, any one of the tabs over here. So I'm hiding, for example, my group tabs. I can still now navigate with my uh, history command over here and jump between different groups. You know, while my tab is even hidden, uh, I'm going to undo this. And the last one is uh, a toggle. So when I do this, I basically hide all of my tabs and I go back to the regular browser mode. So if at any given time you're just like browsing around and you don't want to have any of the tabs around, you can simply use this command to get back to your regular browser mode. And then further down below, we have a settings tab, and these are all the K browser settings. So I can basically set, you know, where I want to store my files and how I want to get started with the first portal in my tree or the last page that uh, I had simply accessed. I can change the appearance, uh, some warning pages, like when I delete tabs, what should happen. Uh, and uh, some other commands in here. So for example, if I wanted to change the look and feel and have green tabs instead of blue tabs, I can just quickly change that, as you can see over here. And then uh, the last command here is basically to toggle my sidebar, and I can hide that all together as well. And then this little command brings it back out. So these are the most important commands that allow you to uh, be a lot more productive and efficient when you are browsing with KBrowser. Finally, let's take a look at our curation folder feature. Curation folders are a special type of folders for researchers or anybody that wants to save articles to be used later to, to share with other people. So to create curation folders, we click on the plus sign on the page tab. Under link type, we choose curation folder. Let's say I'm into cryptocurrency and I want to save crypto news information. And when I create it, I get a double pane folder that looks like this. And I can add articles to it. So let's say that here's an article that is of interest to me. I can, to add it to my curation folder, I grab the eye icon and I drag it over and I drop it in the middle of the page. It will scrape information off of the page, allow me, if there are images available, I can pick an image to be saved to this article. I can modify anything and everything, like the title. I'm going to put blockchain for the publisher, and uh, here I can add my own tags. For example, this one is a lot of platform. I can expand my dialog box in here. I can you know, edit any of the content in here that I don't want and add my own comments, own my comments on why I'm keeping this keeping this, and uh, there we have it, and save it. Every curation folder I can create as many as I want. Uh, it basically is created as a folder under optimal bookmark. So we have it here, crypto news. Now I can take this folder and I can put it into other groups like this. And there it is. So you can see the same link is also here. And uh, let's say I want to add another link to this. Uh, I'm going to go over to IoT Lab. And here is an article that I want to keep. 
and I'm basically going to drag and drop this into my crypto news. Same thing, um, save it. And now if I go over to the crypto news in here, you can see that that article is in here as well. To access them, I basically have to just double click on it and it's going to open up in a page tab down below. So as you can see, K Browser is a very powerful tool for curating access to your own information through the group and page tabs, but also curating news articles and uh, then being able to share it or publish it. I'm just going to quickly show you, for example, uh, we have on our site under research a page where we publish our own curated articles. Um, each one of these groups over here is basically a different folder and you can see the tags. Users can very quickly navigate the articles that we have saved through the tags. So um, there's a lot of potential in here for you to get organized, to be more productive, and even uh, share your knowledge and your research uh, with people that you work with or the world. So give KBrowser a try. I promise you, you're going to love this. And once you use it, you will never lose it.